F42. Here we go. Let's go check it out. Oh, um, look, you made yourself comfortable already. I can do this, Coach. That actually comes out. Here we go. They yep. went to Panera Bread. Da, 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 da. Start. <laughs> Open the doors to adventures and start all your journeys with, with the RV keys. With the RV the keys. Key. Oh, let's try it again. Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> start all your adventures. No, wait. <laughs> wow, here we are. And we're going to look at a 2022 Thor Motor Coach Venetian F42, which I believe has a tip to tip length of 43 feet. All right, here we go. Venetian. All right, yes. Let's do a quick review of the outside, although it's going to be kind of hard with the slide outs out. But let's head and try anyway. You're shorter than I am, so you can be able to open up underneath. We're not going to mess with the sides, folks. There's the first one. It's just a storage area. Yes, keep going. Let's, let's rat them on. Let's rat them on. And here's okay. a nice little slide out tray. All right, we're not going to slide it out there, but uh, you can see that. Yeah, yeah. Now the next and one. And the hunting sound you'll hear, guys, is the leaves. Even in Florida, we have falling leaves. Oh, okay. here's a mini tray. I guess it's maybe for yeah. a refrigerator or something. It's yeah, a... there's definitely some other kind of slide tray there, but there's also a central back. I see a jerk devil up in the corner. Yeah, central back. Yeah, okay. And here's probably the uh, water tank probably with the potable water fill. Hey, nice. Look at the light here. Those are docking lights. Those are docking lights, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Here's the uh, tad axle. Mm -hmm. It looks like since it's an Audi, it looks like it might be a steerable tide, but I don't know for sure. Okay, and this? And here's the electric bay. And this has got a solar charge controller. And probably an inverter somewhere, but I don't see it in here. And here's the chassis battery bay here. Coming around the back. That beautiful tap back there. Uh, I don't think you want to show the uh, well. here. <laughs> And this is the XCR 400, so 400 horsepower. And look, we have one, two, three, four, six, ba uh, six house batteries. That's a lot of amperage. And Tampa Bay batteries. Here we go. Now, here's the deaf tank. Moving on. Here is the wet bay. Ooh, look at it. It's missing the little cover down there, but it's probably just off. And it has a whole house filter. This one actually does have a reel for the hose, a hose reel, a power hose reel. Uh, it's got the tant lead uh, valve assembly. It's got a water pump here and a hose reel, a hose reel switch there so you can retract the hose and an outside shower. Now here on this side, here is where your short cord reel is right there on the wall. And the switch for it most likely is, oh, there it is. Way up there is your switch for your short toward reel. So you see here, on the inside here, we'll just show you the outside. There's the, um, there's the other slide out over there. And here's the other slide tray here uh, with additional tiles in there. So let's go to the front here. And this one probably does have that's the slide, the other side. This one has an Aqualot 250D. Okay, takes up most of the bay there. And one more bay here. And hydraulics and access to your generator bay latch. All right, let's go see the inside. Let's go see the inside. Let's go check it out. What are these little Funky chrome mirrors here, you know? All right, so, coming inside, here we go. F42. Sounds like, here's the uh, step cover, it does retract. This dash is actually, this dash is a lot nicer than the Rhea, I think. Um, as you see here, nice and straight and level. If we had our cats up here, they'd be quite happy with that dash. This looks like another studio collection. 
This will be here. A challenge. And here's a little storage bay here. A Samsung TV as opposed to an insignia. A little bit more quality of this. Here's the TV switch and wind guard satellite receiver. Or controls anyway. Here is another little tubby here. And right now, Marie's trying to feed her out to turn the radio off. There we go, see? And she had the serious radio on as opposed to the casual radio. Really someone had hip hop on. Hip hop. Not my taste, but uh I like that size of screen. The screen is very easy to see. Uh when I'm sitting here driving, and I do do driving books. She does. And uh she drives me crazy at times. She <laughs> you betcha. That's my job in life. So here's a little dash. Or, uh, and Freightliner with the uh, with the uh, shifter on the column like that. Small yes, shelves I, up here. I did already. I showed these all. Already. Okay. So let's go check out the living area. And of course, here's the little dash. Here's the digital dash on this one here. We're gonna turn that off now. And here's some additional controls over here. Nice little cup holder. Your leveling system here. And here's the view, looking down the alley, with the slides out. Oh, um, look, you made yourself comfortable already. I can do this, Coach. Um, I don't like the way the TV is kind of off-centered, so the person where you're sitting can actually see the TV better. Yeah. Where I'm sitting watching part of the window kind of like, and parts of the TV. That's well, if kind it was of weird. A, I mean, there's room. If you just made the TV a little bit bigger, mm -hmm. that probably would solve the problem. Yeah, well, you'd have to have the shades pulled and you have to focus that way, so I'm, I'm not crazy about that. Well, here's a drawer here, and it's also a Jack Knight sofa. So that bottom drawer comes out there, and also comes out over there. This so when you open it, yes, that comes right, out the bottom. Pull this out. There we go. There's a drawer there. Oh, a nice size drawer. Now, that will definitely hold a couple comforters, folks, for your bed, mm -hmm. and or the bedding for your drop down bunk, even. Mm hmm. And, uh, and there's a general drawer right there. This drawer here? Yes. I want you to notice, though, she's making me do all the bending. I think he's looking at things I don't want him to see. <laughs> um, okay, so here's a cabinet. All right, here we have the island, which is already out already. If you want to see those drawers nice before we close it up. Service. Mm -hmm. Very long, and let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine remotes. A whole bunch of remotes. Nine remotes, and touch-up paint. And touch-up paint. Here's the, I'm missing to see if there's any, uh, I don't see the fireplace here. Anyway, Where close that the up. fireplace? Behind you. Ah, uh, there we go, here, fireplace. Close, close that right. up now. Do some more. And I'll push it in. Maybe. Lever. Lever, lever, lever. Here it is. There. It's funny how every one of these are different. I'll let you do that. This is a little hard. That's probably why someone didn't push it in. It might be off the track. Uh, I think it might be slightly out of repair. So. Okay. And over here we have we have another. Oh my goodness. We have a slide out drawer. This is very similar to the area. Yeah, actually, it is. Now, what do we have? A little area right here. If you keep that door open for a moment, uh -huh. for you to put your uh, sink covers in. Oh, okay. So they have their own dedicated yeah, place nice. here. And if not, get some short beer cans or soda cans and stack them up in there. You know. Beer cans. Yeah, what it, here's the sink. What do you think of this uh, sink and It's the same, same type, two two sinks. It's a area. Uh, stainless steel sink. Mm -hmm. yeah. And the same problem as with the area, if you've watched our 3701. If not, you should check it out. But the same thing, they do not have the top piece, so it looks unfinished to me. But you have plenty of cabinet space up here. And to the side of bed, there's a place for your dishes. And a whole bunch of store owner manuals stored right here. I have a convection oven. Convection microwave. Okay. With, uh, right. actually looks like it actually includes, oh my goodness, it includes some really fancy dancy plastic somewhere. Maybe someone just had dinner in here and left it. Yeah, right. And what's that there? Is that? 
This What's here that? is your induction top stove. Hmm. You already knew that. Oh, well, one thing, the difference between the area and here is that actually comes out. Oh, yes, it does. You can actually take this outside on your picnic table. And I'm not going to take it out all the way, folks, but you see, you can mess up. Yeah. Take it outside and you can cook outside. It's not tremendously heavy, right? Yeah, I have to be careful with this thing, so uh, I don't tend to lift things like that too often. Well, let's see what we got here. These three, we have three drawers. drawers. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're right, so we did bring our lunch. I found the bag they've ordered in. Ah, I see. How deep are those drawers? I told you to probably put beer in there. <laughs> how, deep are, how deep are those drawers? They're amazing what you find. I would say they are about 20 inches long. Okay, and about how wide? Well, each one is different. No, but with the width-wise, they're still width-wise the same. 20, look like about square. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to have to start carrying a tape measure. Always ask me questions I don't know the answers to. Okay, here we have some... Very interesting bath splash. Maybe not my particular flavor. You don't tend to like things that have a bit of a yeah, surface I, that you have to keep yeah, clean. Yeah, I prefer the flat um, rather than the textured back splashes because grease or whatever you're cooking, you splash something and you get caught in there and it makes it a little harder to clean. I'm all about easy. I'm camping. I want something, you know, nice and smooth, tile, uh, the Korean countertops. I like the smoothness. Okay, a nice boost dinette. Here's actually the controls to raise and lower the TV set. I don't think they're working now. But the most people don't really know is that these are actually wireless controls. They have a battery right there. And people um, on your main Firefly display it will tell you the status of your batteries. Here is the Firefly display. Controls a whole bunch of different functions here. Uh, electrical system, your cooling here, your your slide outs, your fan, your fantastic fans, and your mobile app setup. Uh, so you can actually install the app on your phone and then connect to it using this panel. And I see you found the dinette. There's three cabinets above the dinette. Look at that. One, two. And three. Now, how deep would you say? They're about 12 inches deep? Uh, yeah, they're about 12, I'd say. Now, that's a nice looking down, yeah? Yes. Now, this, these seats probably pivot the same way, I imagine. It's a 3701, right? We're and not this, going to do this, that, this folks. This actually does running low. This is not a drawer here. It's just a cover. Right. And, and here's a nice fireplace. mirror here, making it help the lift. Now, one thing I noticed in here that I don't particularly care for, I think they could have done a better job on the lighting um i mean okay. it does its job but you know in all honesty it's kind of bland for a co coach at this price point i would mean, expect a little twirls a little a little glamour i guess i guess we have to find out what the msrp is on this one because i don't know there's okay. a little half bath in here mm -hmm. and there really is no can there's i think there's a, two small canvas down there this is the Edison cabinet here. It's pretty wide though. I'd say this is almost 36 inches wide. And two shelves. Now what is the uh, buttons down there for? Well this is a electric, uh, electric flush. It's not probably macerator but I'm not exactly sure. So instead of stepping are, on it you push a button over there? These are okay. Yeah. <laughs> yes yeah, so that's where you push. Okay okay. Because someone's actually taking a dump in here. <laughs> Uh, we yeah. have a residential refrigerator. This certainly is a lot larger than the area. Yes, it's definitely uh, larger. But um, it's still very nice. And let's see, pa pantry. Oh, what is the pantry? Open a pantry up. Okay, the pantry comes open. And these are uh, very nice little side out pantry shelves. And mm -hmm. you're right, look, here's a great jelly. And put it with spoons and, and great jelly. Yeah. You sure this is a 2022? Yes. Hmm. Well, evidently somebody was driving it down here and decided to just make themselves ready. Oh, coffee cups. Here we go. They yeah. went to Panera Bread. There you oh, go. I need to wash my hands now. Uh, okay. Oh, and we note that the refrigerator does have an ice maker and a, a dispenser. Okay. And here is the washer dryer. Whirlpool. Whirlpool. Da 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 da. 
And the bed is a uh, tilt bed. Tilt bed. It's in an upright position. We have four over the counter, over the cabinet, uh, over the bed. Cabinets. Bed. How many cabinets do we have? We have four cabinets. Uh, you blew your chance. One, two, three, four, four, four cabinets. Ah, ah, ah. Now, interesting enough, the Venetian has this nice little shelf area in the middle underneath the TV set. Yes, and some, a nice big wardrobe here. And then three, count them, three. Three drawers. Yes. One, two, and three. Ah, ah, ah. Why you open that last one? Just make sure it's real. So they you know, couldn't reach over that. Sometimes way. they, they you fake go. you out. Yeah, they do fake you out occasionally. And here's a full length mirror. All right, what's behind the TV set here? Wow, a little storage area there. And this goes back pretty far, though. Yeah. That's yeah. about 24 <laughs> inches deep, I would say. Yeah, that's under the TV set. I reopened that. You did? I did. Oh, that's right, we did. Okay, never mind. And we have these little side tablets on each side of the bed, about the same size. And what's back here now? Well, back here, you have a door. A door? Well, we also have a door over there, too. It right closes now. off that but way. If you see one door, you see them all. Oh, what? I see a... Bathroom. No, I see a, a power pedal still back there. I do, and you know what? A nice full sinks. So you have two sinks. Which yeah. is nice. And you have a nice little cabinet there. And one here in the middle. Although one you know, it, it's they're very tall. It's not a lot not as small like medicines or whatever you can put in there. Uh and it had room for Yeah, if you put your pills or something, if you have a lot of pills. I mean, you know, it's some yeah. sort of shelf or something to Just hold it. Adjustable shelf in there would be very nice. Good idea. And here is... Listen, Thor, we need some adjustable shelves. There's more of a medicine cabinet here. Yeah, this one would be a, a it's, medicine it's, cabinet. It's certainly still kind of... And look! Kind of free toilet paper! Yeah, you're free. You probably pay at least a thousand bucks for that. Well, here, here we have our little bull by the horns towel wrap. Mm -hmm. And our mm -hmm. fantastic fan here. Now, see, actually, here... All right, and now we're going to do the shower test. Uh, you clearance, you obviously have a little, a little more than six foot six of clearance. Here, uh, here we actually have a very deep closet here. This is full mm -hmm. length. That's a pretty. That's actually which I don't over two feet. Before in this model. Mm -hmm. uh, here we have a nice little step-in shower. Here is a place to sit down, and this actually is not too bad. But I might at the upper limits. Oh, this it's not very wide. I have a very narrow area to sit. Yeah, bed six six. So again, but you know, yeah, if you're shorter than that, you're fine. I can sit down here very nicely. Um, it doesn't have like a shower arm where you can adjust it up and down. Oh, that's really oh. interesting. Mm -hmm. You would think at this price point there would be uh, some well, ability to have because well, obviously Ben being six six and me being five nine, I need to have mine lower than him. Hmm. Well, what's on it? What's Let's do the last part of these tablets. Okay. Yeah, good size storage under there. Three the very drawers. deep drawers. That one's fake. That was a fake drawer. Okay, and then of course here. This. So I guess here's the question for those who have cats. Where do you think we could put a, uh, they could put a litter box in here? Where would I put a litter box in here? That's a good question. I mean, maybe right here on the floor next to the toilet, I guess, would be a good spot. Uh, yeah, I guess I would probably block off this cabinet and use this area here. Because I hate lifting them in and out of the showers. I think that's just kind of silly. Well, um, where, that, that's really the only place I can consider right, or the, the, or the half bath. Because then otherwise you have to keep moving it, correct. And of course there's always the half bath, but probably not. Or maybe, well, see, even here, the slide out comes in, so. Right, the half bath is the only bathroom you can get to when you're driving, so you'd have to climb over a litter box. I don't think so. All right, well, maybe not. Okay. And even maybe behind the driver, possibly, but I don't know how much room. Maybe behind here might be a place to have it behind the uh, passenger seat. Now, this is an interesting place to put a map light. Well, I imagine the seat's back a little further. All right, well, this concludes this review and walk through of the Thor Motor Coach Venetian F42. 
And, you know, Marie and I are the RVTs. We just want to thank you for watching. And remember to open the doors to adventures and start all your journeys with the RVTs. Have a nice day.